Well, welcome back to the 504. The End of Malice is a new film that's telling the untold story of hip hop star and former Clips member Gene Thornton. He was once known as Malice, but this film is showing his transition to no malice. And he's in town for a special screening of the film, and he's here to tell us more about it. Thanks so much for making it. I know you got a busy day with the screening yeah, going man. on tonight. Thanks but for having me. It's good to be here. This sounds amazing. So tell All us right. more about the film and what made you want to do this. Well, uh, definitely. The film is entitled The End of Malice talks about my life in the industry, um, the things I've been through, personal things, family life, and you know, where I am today. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, it's very interesting. And I just want to, you know, share with especially a lot of the youth that, you know, they want to be rappers and musicians and entertainers and just make a lot of money. And if I could just share some of the pitfalls so they can avoid them, you know, I'm just going to give back in that way. I think that's so great, especially since you have such a compelling story, right? You were at the top of your game when you decided to leave clips. That's, that's a huge moment because some people yeah. look back on things when it's all done. They went through all the heyday and then they're like, you know what? Right. I want to tell you what I learned. You left at, at right. the moment. What made you want to leave? Well, that, that's the thing. Um, I definitely left at the pinnacle of my career. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, when people, they, they want to tell me that I'm courageous for doing it or mm -hmm. brave for doing that, but I have to tell them it's not me because me, no malice or gene, I would chase that dollar. I would chase that money. But this was actually the finger of God that touched me. Wow. Yeah, and, and called me out of that lifestyle. And what did that look like? What did that feel like for you? Were you depressed? Were you angry? You know, I was a... Uh, Angry is a, is a good word. It is. Uh, frustrated, also a good mm -hmm. word. You know, I always felt like, you know, once I get my money right, everything is going to be perfect. Which a lot of people think. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people think that mm -hmm. once they get their money mm -hmm. right, well, I had, you know, the good fortune of being able to get my money right and to still see that something was missing mm -hmm. and that something was God. I had not invited God into my life. And a lot of people, you know, they go through life and they think once they get their money right, but unfortunately, a lot of people don't get a chance to get their money right, mm -hmm. you know, so they they chase that dollar through their whole life and never look you know, or call on God. Yeah. yeah. And how wh how do you expect to reach young people? Because, you know, young people are hard-headed. Well, and it's a hard message to get because they're going to go, I don't see how money can't solve everything. Well, that's cool. And I, and I, and I get that. And I, I think I have the luxury of... of experiencing a lot of things that they want to experience. Mm. I think my testimony is perfect and I mm -hmm. think I'm perfectly uh, relatable uh, for those who have followed my catalog and you know even with my brother Pusha T being out there you know people are, are, are familiar with us and uh, you know they gravitate to this lifestyle and I'm just giving you the entire truth not just one side of it. Yeah I love that. All right so what yeah. was the hardest part for you that do you talk about some of that in the film? Oh yeah, I, I talk about uh, you know um, separating from uh, the group. My brother, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I love being with my brother. Uh, we're very tight, so you know it, that that brings a little heartbreak. But I know it's for for a greater good, and I just had to uh, make some decisions for myself, for my life, and for my family. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm gonna roll with. And how'd your brother take that? Because it's not like you were leaving a group I'm where you're just going brother. out on the I'm the big brother. You know what I say goes. What I say goes. So you know, nah. But he he supported me. You know. Yeah. It, it, it was easy. He supported me, and uh, and if he had told me the same thing, I would, you know, have supported him. We're not twins. We're not joined at the hip. Yeah. We had a good run together, a good season, and, and this is just my natural and uh, my natural growth. Okay. You know, I can't I can't avoid it. It's real. And did you feel a lot of support? Were you looking for support? Because I'm so some people were saying, "What are you talking about? Where are you going?" Well, yeah, you know it. it at one point, it was very lonely. Yeah, I'd you imagine. know, it was it was very lonely. Like mm -hmm. no one understood. But now it's like you know, people are coming out of the woodworks. I got some of the hardest friends who come to me and ask for advice. And when mm -hmm. they go through things, they don't know where to turn to. So it's like all coming back full circle. I love it. Redemption yeah. is a great thing. That's really hard to go through. Talk about that for a moment, because we have so many young people in the city who are looking for guidance, and even if they get it, they're afraid to stand on their on their own and really go through that. Right, right. You know, I think everyone needs to uh, be aware of their uniqueness. Everyone is unique and different, and everyone has something to offer this world. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to just follow trends and be like everybody else. Everyone, and, and this is what I tell the youth, I tell grown men this as well, you know, we're counting on you to, to, to bring what it is, you, your gift, mm -hmm. your talent, what you have to share with us, you know, so everyone has to, uh, you know, and, and what I did was like an icebreaker mm -hmm. because now that I'm out there, I'm starting to hear people tell me, you know, I've been through what you've been through or I was kind of feeling that mm -hmm. way and, and, you know, 
You're giving them the confidence to tell their story. Definitely, man. Which is huge here. So congratulations to you for All doing right, that. We support sure. the film. Thank Thanks you, for Sheba. being with us. Thanks All for right, having guys, me. The End of Malice is going to air on Revolt TV on March 27th, and you can visit endofmalice.com for more information. Make sure you guys check this out. Well, David Armand has been with us all night long, and coming up next, he's given us the deets on his new memoir.